Hi, it's Dr. Noel Williams, August 9, 2020. This talk's geared for college students and parents who are leaving for college. If your college student's staying at home, it's still perhaps applicable just because they're gonna be around a lot of people too. And as I've learned this last week with being exposed, um, these young people who don't get very sick certainly can expose us and affect our lives. So anyway, so college students, what do college students need to do? Well, let's keep it simple. One, their immune systems are pretty good irrespective of many things, so they can fight off viruses fairly well. But if we can get them to take a multivitamin and some zinc and some D, it is phenomenally helpful to rev up their immune systems. So what's the easiest way to do that? Well, for, I would say probably, and this may sound juvenile, but I want them to take it. And they don't listen very, you guys don't listen very well, always sorry. So um, a Flintstones with zinc and a 5,000 a D would be fabulous for them. If you wanna be a little more um, meticulous about this or fastidious, whatever word you wanna use, 15 milligrams of zinc with 5,000 a D um, if they're a bigger person, you know, they're over 200 pounds, 250 pounds, we probably want to be pushing the zinc more towards 30 and the vitamin D towards 10,000. And again, if they're a bigger person, I'd also want them on a fish oil because if, if they do happen to get COVID, there's a little association, even in younger people with more thromboembolic events in people who are big. So just one of those things. So those are the core things in terms of nutrition. I don't think we want to overwhelm them with nutrition. I think just core stuff, zinc and vitamin D and maybe some fish oil. Number two, I think a thermometer is a great idea to bring with them to school this year. Um, so if they start having the temperature and the, the temperature that matters from the CDC is probably 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So if it's at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, that's probably when they need to start thinking, oh, maybe I have something going on. And they may want to call their student health service and go make a run over and get checked because the whole thing is with COVID, if you are infected and you find out early, then you can help prevent spread. So that's why we want you to be a little more careful. We also want your uh, kids to avoid Advil. Tylenol is the gold standard in COVID, so that's what we always encourage people to do. Uh, fluids, uh, NyQuil, things like that are all fine. And please, if you're feeling sick and you're a college student, uh, please feel free to call your parents and let them know, and they'll help you get it sorted out with your student health service. But those are the key ideas for college. Kim, am I blowing anything on the college review? Um, and believe it or not, drinking alcohol in college decreases your immune system and increases the likelihood of you, of you getting sick, just like smoking. So of course, I'm going to formally discourage you from drinking and smoking while you're in college. <laughs> oh, it's hard to be a student these days. Good night.